Hello, hello everyone. Uh, me back here with yet another video, as usual. Uh, I've got something pretty cool doing today, because during the week, I managed to score myself off Facebook Marketplace a bunch of free solar panels. So, we're going to be building a new solar array uh, on my property here. And I'm going to show you bit by bit of me doing it. And I'm also going to run you through how to connect up solar. Um, because I actually haven't done that yet. I've got so much solar here. And I'm sure a few of you would like to know how to do it. I'm not an electrician by any means. And the solar I connect up is for off-grid purposes only. You can't, like, don't go doing a grid-tied system yourself. I don't mess with that stuff. This is all off-grid with batteries and shit, so... It's just like a, a glorified massive camping setup, I guess. <laughs> here's one way to put it. Um, but anyway, we'll show you the panels I got. So here's all my panels. I got eight free. I think they're, what are they? 190 watt panels. So they're all in good working condition. And the best condition is, well, they're free. They didn't cost me a cent. So you can't really argue with that. I got eight free ones and then I've got this one here which is one I had laying around anyway so that makes nine in total which will give us a nice roof of panels and I'll show you where I'm putting them so as you might have seen in some other videos I haven't really run you through this is my workshop down here so I've got the little garden shed where I have the welder and generator and that well I've got a workbench in there and then I just got an undercover area here. It's a bit rough and ready because like everything built here, it's built out of scrap. Except for these rafters. These rafters are brand spanking new because I've run out of scrap timber. And well, I'm going to do this properly because it's quite a big array. So we've got the recycled timber posts and beams, but the rafters are all brand new. So you can see here, I've started with the first two up already. What we're doing is I'm just putting rafters up. And then the solar panels are simply just going to go between the rafters and screw through the sides. So rather than putting roof rafters and roof sheets up and then putting the solar panels on top, I'm just cutting out the middle man and just putting the rafters up and then putting solar panels straight there. I'm not so much... Water tightness is not essential. It's more shade area. Obviously, I'll run some silicon around to try and get it water tight, but I'm not overly fussed if I get a few drips here and there. We're doing this on the cheap anyway, so which is basically just so I can get a solar array up. And this is the cheapest way I can work out how to do it. So we've got H3 um, MGB10 treated timber, so that's all structural timber done properly. Like I said I want good rafters. And they're H3 treated, so they're they're good for outdoors. Like essentially timber's still gonna rot eventually, but you know, I thought I'd give it its best shot by getting the best treated timber I can. And yeah, we started throwing these up, so it's only, I'm, I was hoping to have my mate here to help me throw these up, but he's a bit caught up today and I'm impatient, so I'm starting to throw these up myself. So we'll soldier on and I'll keep getting these up myself, so I can't really film me doing much because I'm like a one-man show here, but I'll film progress shots as I go along and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I'll catch us in a little bit, guys, and I've got a bit more progress done. Rightio, so there's all four rafters up. I've just got to finish triple gripping them off. If you don't know what triple grips are, I'll show you. If you ever want to sort of, you know, attempt something like this yourself. Obviously you have your beams, which is your, what your rafters sit on. And then you have your rafters, which are there. And they sit, in your, they sit in your beams and you have these brackets here. So there's a fixture on top there. There's a fixture on the side there. And there's a fixture on the side there. Hence what they call triple grips. So you put one of those each side of the rafter, which I've got to finish doing now because I've only got one on, each, on one side of each of the rafters. Um, so once that's done, then we can start throwing some panels up. Hopefully I can attempt that by myself. We'll see how we're going to do that one. It's been interesting putting these rafters up by myself, but um, yeah, we'll see how I go with the solar panels. I have to invent some trickery way, unless my mate gets back to me. But Anyway, we'll see you in a little bit. And I worked it out, so. Well, I found out how to do it myself because I st still haven't got any help, so I don't think that's going to happen today. So, impatient Kai, who wants to get this done today, is going to be soldiering on today on his own, but I've worked out a way. So, I'll show you this. So, here's the first panel put up in place. It's not screwed in yet, but I'll just show you how I'm doing it. So, I've just got a block clamped up top corner. 
and a block clamp down the bottom corner, set the right position so this panel sits flush with the top of the rafter. So yeah, you can see here, obviously I've got to adjust it a little bit, but yeah, the, the panels will just sit between the rafters like that. And I'm just going to put screws through the channel here, so through the side into the timber, and then run a bead of silicon along there to seal it off. So, yeah, that's how they're going to be put up all the way along through these rafters. So I've got nine of them to go. I shall see us again soon when I've got some more progress made. Righto, so I've now got three the three bottom panels all screwed in and fixed in place. I'll show you them a bit closer up as I walk here. But yeah, you can see they just go between the rafters flush to the top. And then if I can get the camera on it, we just got just a screw through four screws, so two each side into the rafter. And then later on, like I said, I'll run a bead of silicon along there. But yeah, so far so good looking pretty snazzy and schmick so yeah done these all by myself I think I'm doing pretty well we'll see how I go with these other ones as I get up higher um, I think I'll still keep this same method in place is to block each corner and go sit it up I wish I could have some footage of me actually sort of doing more but yeah it's a bit hard to set the camera up I don't have a tripod or anything and if I did have a tripod it's hard to get it set up as a good angle and good positions and that so You'll just have to put up with like stage shots as I go along as usual. But yeah, she's looking pretty schmick. And I shall see you when I've got them all up, I guess, because I won't keep showing them bit by bit. But once they're, all the panels are up, I'll show you that. And then we'll get cracking on into actually wiring them up. So yeah, I'll see you when I get up to that step. Fuck, I'm good. Just got all the panels up by myself. So this entire roofing job and solar panel job has all been done by me, myself and I and I'm pretty fucking chuffed with that. So have a look at that. Got all nine panels up. Nice and secure. Everything's all triple grip properly. Right size rafters, right timber. Solar panels are all secure. Now it's all left to do is just wire all them up. This is going to be a really good solar array because this is actually literally the perfect position to get most of the sun. Like most of my other arrays over here, they're sort of just been because I built there, so I put a roof is solar panels. But to be honest, they're really not the best position. As you can see by over there, how that one's been shaded by the tree right now, that array there, and now the times of the day these ones get shaded. Whereas this array will never get shaded, and the sun rises from over there and it tracks like this right over top which it right it is now you can see the sun right there so it's on top of the panels right now and it goes down again over there so that solar array is going to be a fucking monster of a power producer about the best position you can get for them so i'm really looking forward to seeing my power increases but yeah otherwise um i think i might actually leave it at that for this video just so it doesn't go too long. But don't you worry guys, because I'll be wiring these up very soon. There'll be another video coming out very, very shortly of me doing the wiring and showing you the run through of how well, at least how I do solar wiring. There's probably gonna be some electricians out there that'll shake their heads at me when I show you what I do. But it, it it's all done properly. I, I, I do things I think is, I think as close to the book as you can. It's all done nicely. It's been working for me anyway all these years, so. Yeah, I might as well give you a little run through about how to do it so you can set up your own little solar setups in your car or your shed or wherever you want to do it, you know, your own little off-grid caravan. Um, yeah, like I said, this for off-grid stuff is pretty good, but I'll show you that in the next video. So, yeah, leave it at that. I'm a bit puffed. <laughs> so I'm going to take a break, have a drink, and um, I'll see you next time. Hey, like, like and subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. Share it around, comment, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I'll catch us later. Bye.